If you suffer from gnarly, twisted varicose veins, you're not alone. 40% of women and 25% of men suffer from what's called venous insufficiency, meaning veins have problems sending blood from the legs back to the heart. Any vein can become varicose, but they most commonly occur in the legs and feet because of walking and standing. For some people, the problem is only cosmetic, but for others, it can mean serious health concerns involving circulation. Tonight, in a special medical moment just before 6, we take you to a Michiana vein clinic that is offering the most high-tech outpatient treatment for varicose veins. If you have legs that look like this with bulging veins, you understand why Kathy Janesco is visiting the Legacy Vein Clinic in Mishawaka for a procedure involving the most advanced laser treatment for varicose veins. Being able to wear shorts above my knee if I choose to rather than capris. Because you live on a lake, right? Yes, I live on Lake Schaefer in, in Monticello, so it'll be nice to be able to wear my bathing suit and not feel, you know, un uncomfortable about people seeing the raised vein on my leg. And as the owner and operator of Milton Home Assisted Living in South Bend, Kathy is on her feet a lot. Do you feel a real tiredness and heaviness in your leg? Dr. Sandra Rowland says doctors aren't sure why veins malfunction, but think it's related to heredity, pregnancy, and hormonal changes. Getting rid of unsightly and painful veins used to mean vein stripping surgery shown here in this animation with incisions and cutting. But Dr. Rowland says a new laser called the Venacure 1470 has changed all that. It uses a higher frequency wavelength, so it specifically targets the water molecules. Um, you need then less energy to heat the vein, and then that causes less discomfort from, for the patient and less bruising. With no general anesthesia, just go. some pills to swallow, Kathy is ready to say goodbye to her varicose veins. Now that Kathy's had her Vicodin and Valium to relax her and treat her pain, we're inside the procedure room where we're going to show you the laser treatment that's going to take care of her varicose veins. Many patients can have the treatment on the great savinous vein that runs from the ankle to the thigh done in one treatment. But because Kathy had her veins treated elsewhere years back, her treatment will be done in segments. Using ultrasound, Dr. Rowland guides a needle into Kathy's vein. Pinch and burn. Adding a local anesthetic. So now I've gotten into the vein. There's blood return, so that means I'm in the vein. So we're threading a wire into that diseased vein. And so far, no complaints from Kathy. Not bad at all. Good. I have to tell you, this is not painful. Good. All right. Once Dr. Roland knows she's in the right spot, she threads the laser into the sheath in Kathy's vein. There's the tip of it. So that's where exactly we want to keep it. So you're at your spot? Mm-hmm, we're at our spot. It's under her skin. <laughs> Tipping the table so the blood runs out of the vein while Dr. Roland works, more local anesthetic is added to numb the vein. Now we're just gonna turn on the laser and let it, let it do its thing. And we're almost done. 68 seconds after the laser is activated. And that's it, so. Now on to the second segment of Kathy's vein, and like the first area, Dr. Rowland isn't expecting any problems. Mm -hmm. That was expected? Yes, that one is expected. This is another branch that looks like it hasn't been treated before, so it should go as expected. In all, Kathy is having two veins treated, but with one vein having three segments needing treatment, she'll be making another visit to see Dr. Rowland. In the meantime, what will recovery be like today? She'll go home with a compression sock for three days and elevate her legs while sitting. Other than that? We encourage the patients to walk immediately after the procedure so they can do their normal activities um, as soon as they get home. But if Kathy wants to go to the grocery store tonight, she can go? Absolutely. Free of unsightly bulging veins and the discomfort that comes along with them. We're happy to report Kathy was back to work Monday as expected and says she felt no pain whatsoever during the procedure or after. And good news, most insurance companies will cover this procedure because varicose veins can lead to serious health problems. And for more information on the new Venacure 1470 laser at Legacy Vein Clinic, you can go to our website and click on this story. Well, coming up